this is a lock found place and I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of how freighters work under Beyond. They've changed a little bit since way back when and a couple of people have come out of the Discord and haven't been able to find some of the cargo uh, containers so I just wanted to do, to do a quick run through. So here I am at a freighter. I consider this to be the front of the freighter. Here's the, the central terminal. This is the back where all the inf infrastructure is, and then the landing strut is here. And I'll have a, uh, a couple of screenshots here that show where all of the, all of the cargo um, pods are. But, but here I am. But, but here I am. I'm facing the front, and off to the left, there's this square section. And if you if you open up your scanner, there's a cargo pod there. So on all of these, I will mark it, and then I will go look at it. So there's one there, and here in the in the infrastructure, there's one back there, there's one back there, there's one down on the ground there. There's one down on the ground there, and then the one I think a lot of people miss is over there. There's one as well. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to see that once I get into the cart, into the air, but it's right out here, sort of where all these metal plates are are lying around. So let's do these now. Every time you go to a, a freighter. What you need to open up the cargo pods will be different, but at that freighter it will always be the same. So if it's asking for, well, if it's asking for, I did I did that too fast. I think it was some sort of um, uh, ferrite, but but it'll always ask for those. So then when we get back here in the in in the mess of all the infrastructure there are these lights here and then there is this panel this yellow panel so there's one in here if I can get in here so this one wants 15 ferrite dust Got some nice fusion accelerant. And you always want to leave pretty quickly because there's um oops, there's a little bit of radiation that will show. Um so then there's one here with these lights. These all these both go into the same room, so there's this panel here. Go in and get this one. And then this next one is one of the harder ones. It's here in the center. And you can see that there's a broken uh, steel panel here. Let me get up here a little bit so I can show you where, 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 where this is. It's right in the center of all this, uh, all of this infrastructure back here. So, oops. Oh man, my gun isn't working. Shoot. <laughs> Let me see if I can clear this without having to restart the video. That's really annoying. There we go. So the panel is here, or the, 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 con the storage panel is here, the storage container, and the face is down here on this side, so so it, it, it's on the low slope. And you don't you don't have to jump in in there to access it, although I sometimes do. Ooh, excellent! A salvage friggin' module. Then there's one here near the front of this area, near this wall. You can see I scanned it, but that's pretty misleading. What you want to do is get up here. Change over to your terrain man manipulator, manipulator and just start clearing stuff out. And you'll find here is 
the broken steel that you need to shoot out. And my scattered blaster is still unhappy with me. And again, this one's pretty hard to see with a train manipulator to start shooting a little bit. And if you're facing this way, the the cargo hold, the cargo pod face is on the right. I got some money out of that. So I've done five of them. One over in that square, four over in all this infrastructure, which is a total of five, and then the sixth one is over here, out by these panels. Again, turn on your scanner, find it, and this one is a little bit odd in that you want to be a little bit upstream of it. Switch over to my terrain manipulator. And this is the deepest one. And there you have it. That's all six of the panels at a freighter. Now, because I build a lot of bases, I actually go through and I restore all of this stuff. Because I like to keep my train edits low. But you don't need to do that. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I did the middle panel, or the middle terminal here. They generally lower about the sentinels and black holes and the like. Unsalvageable wreck, log integrity compromised, patching. I do not like this. Forced to harbor Gek on board to give them safe passage across the stars. I lodged a complaint. Let's... We encountered remnants of the Viking ex expeditionary force. Their ships decimated, fragments of flesh and steel floating through the asteroid field. Sentinels scan their debris. We leave, leave quickly. I refuse to take my crew any further. You should have told me why we were doing this. Why? There is no hope, is there? These are always pretty de depressing, I find. Anyway, that is how you do a... Um, a freighter uh, in Beyond. If you happen to be at an underwater freighter, those are a little bit different and use a model that is from before Beyond. And in that case, there's a cargo pod here, then there's one there, there's one back there, there's one there, and there's one there. And that one and that one need to be dug out. That one is slightly sticking up out of the ground, and that one is, all, is about half up out of the ground. The one over there is still there, and you need to dig it out. And the one over there is still there, and you need to dig it out. If I happen to find an underground freighter, or an underwater freighter, excuse me, I will do a quick video, just a screenshot showing where those are. I think I have one on another base. But anyway, ha! So I found my base with an underwater, uh, sunken, crashed freighter. So here I am underwater. Do, 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 do. There's the central terminal. There's a crate there, as normal, a cargo pod. And then in the back, there's one there. There's one there. There's one there, which you can kind of see. And then there's one back there. There's one off to the side, like there is on the last one I showed. And then the central terminal here. There's one in this open area here. The tricky one is actually the one over here, which I may not be able to get to because it might be underneath the surface where I can't get to it. You know, there's that you can only dig so far down thing. Let's see. And the trick is, is that you need to be way over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, well, yeah. And I can't get to it because that surface is undiggable. But anyway, so there's that one that's kind of sticking out. There's one over here. Which the face is. I don't remember where the face is. I haven't done one of these in a long time. Ah, no. I'm just digging everywhere now. Is it over here? There it is. <laughs> so that was a little bit unfortunate. Um, 
There's the one in front that's barely dug out at all. You can just do this one really quick with just one spurt of your train or two of your train manipulator. Then there's one back there. So there's four again in this back area, but they're buried and they're not in that big infrastructure. Then there's the one in the square, there's the one next to the terminal, and then there's the one on the outside again. So that is how crash freighters on um, uh, underwater look. So I will go back to the other video now. But anyway, I hope this is useful, and uh, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. If not, you know, that's totally cool. Uh, and have a great day and a happy new year.